right, everybody, looks like it's getting to be that time. If we could all find our way over, we can get this thing started. Hi, I'm Gil. I think, I think you might be in the wrong place. It's a pleasure to be here today. I am happy that no matter the obstacles I have faced, I have not faltered on my convictions. For the two who don't know me, my name is Captain Good and this is my faithful sidekick, Good Boy. Who's a good boy? I am. That is correct. Good Boy and I have been fighting criminals for many years serving as a beacon of hope to society. I was blessed with the gift of super strength, but only in my arms and legs. At the time I did not concern myself with my potential weakness, and tried to help everyone I could. One day my neighbor asked if I could help move her ottoman. Of course I agreed but little did I know it would be the last time I used my powers. I looked at only using my back, breaking it and hitting my head on the way down which has left me completely immobile and unable to speak. I was not sure at first how I could go on, but with the help of good boy I have continued to stay on the path of righteousness. OMG, is that you Steve? You intellectual scoundrel, how are you? Is it your turn to share? Yes, I suppose it is my turn. Hello everyone, my name is Animo, which is Latin for the mind. A fitting name, I'd say, considering my academic prestige. I was the valedictorian of my graduating class at Yale, and it was during my studies there that I realized I had the power to move things with my mind. Unfortunately, with my old age, the more I've used my power, the harder it's become to maintain it. And hopefully it's reached the point that I don't think I can even do it anymore. Ah, uh, come on. You can do it. Hey, just remember our motto. Ever upward. Yeah, absolutely. You can do it. Yeah, definitely. Go give it a try. Go, Steve. You, you guys really think I can do it? Yeah. yeah. All right. Here it goes. Yes, that's what I expected. It's all right. Don't beat yourself up over it. I mean, everybody's failed or struggled at some point in their life. It's easy to just give up when everything seems hopeless, but having the courage to persevere through these challenges is what makes someone a hero. You, you're a hero. You're facing your villains today, and that makes you as much of a hero as any of us. We often forget how similar we are. Everyone has their own villains, and everyone has the potential to be a hero. It's our job to keep spreading the message. Ever upward? Excelsior! Excelsior!